For those not in the know, put and take trout fishing is a multi-million pound industry and here down in Hampshire at a fishery called Diva Springs they specialize in bringing big fish on. Now they buy these in initially at a smaller size but even the smaller size at Diva Springs like these brown trout being stocked into a smaller stock or holding pond are probably three to four pound fish. So they start with a pretty big fish as far as fishermen go and then they build and feed on that size over the years hoping to keep them in a in a fairly rigid environment for feed and water quality they need spring fed water they need a constant temperature and of course you need a good initial stock to build and get up to a really big size now here they get phenomenal sizes these fish will be held for several years and then it'll be fed up and once they've grown to a certain size in this size holding pond they're going to be moved into the next stage but the next stage at diva means something pretty phenomenal in one of the main holding pools where they keep their larger stock of rainbows they recently discovered some monster brown trout these fish have been packing on weight like you wouldn't believe and i was invited down on the totally awesome fishing show with mike to help me to watch fishery managers Niall Steig and Stuart Barrett pull the net in, haul it in, 100 probably or more very 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 big rainbows in this net. They're confining them down, they're shortening it down, they're hoping they can get out some of these big browns which have grown to a phenomenal size and maybe we can get pictures of them. But more important, they're so impressed with the size these browns have made that they're going to try and weigh some of them and just see how big they are. It's renowned here for big rainbow trout. Look at this fantastic specimen that Stuart's fishing out. All these fish probably up around the nine or 10 pound mark and they're probably gonna grow even bigger than that. Feisty looking rainbows, gonna give you a great scrap on a fly rod here once they get stocked into the main fishing lakes look at the size of these fish just being returned Stuart bear in mind is just sorting through this net trying to find some of those big brown trout that they have seen when they've been feeding them the quality of the fish at Diva normally second to none they take a lot of care in getting these fish up to a good standard for anglers and here is Stuart he's got hold of a big brown just wait until you see the size of this incredible fish. And believe me folks, these fish can just keep growing and growing. The magic weight they're looking for are not just double figures, but some of these immense browns can grow to a huge size. But what's happened with this browns these, these five, six, seven fish in here, they don't really understand because they are at a phenomenal size. I've been a, I've been a fishery manager now for with Diva for 26 years. And we've been going through our ponds recently and looking for some browns. And, uh, you know, truly, you know, we've gone through and found a good half dozen of these brownies. Huge, but one, extremely. You know, it's, uh, it's, to find these fish of this size is extremely rare. It's, uh, not all fish will grow onto this size, but to find six 20 plus brownies in your pond, fantastic. And the fish we have are, uh, we are looking for quality rather than quantity. But a lot of fish we, uh, we select, we're continuously selecting through the fish all the time, looking for the perfection. And these, fish that we find uh, we put to one side some fish we put to one side for two three maybe even four years before we will we, before we will use them and it is with these brown uh, with these brown trout we have put to one side grown on and now we're in the stage we've got six potential record beaters who knows they could be keep on growing all the time so now we've got to work out when do we use these fish do we keep on growing them or not? The good thing about all these fish, anybody can catch them. 
It's not a private fishery. It's a, it's a day ticket water. Anybody can come along. Anybody has a chance of catching truly, truly wonderful fish. The smallest is far four pound. Average around about five or six pound. What a fantastic fish, rainbows, and potentially record-breaking browns. And of course, after your day's sport, what have you, you got? You got you got trout to eat. Probably one of the healthiest uh, fish going. Full of uh, omega-3 oils, and uh, we can have you know have it smoked, take it home, or you can exchange your catch here and go away with uh, smoked trout. Probably far easier than uh, cutting it at home. That's it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you got him. Yeah. <laughs> Cook my ever meal, right? Oh, that's a little lump, isn't it? Yeah, Colours on that. Right over there. Certainly up there in the 20th. Longer than the other. That is a nice marking, too. A good shape, isn't it? Yeah, that's, In fact, that's the best shape of all of them, isn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah, that's a nice shape. That's what you call a deeper yeah. yeah. And just look at the fantastic dots on this giant 20 pound brown trout. Beautiful fish, back in the stock pond. Twenty two. Twenty two pound brown. That one will be bigger. He's massive, the other one. Yeah. He's bigger than this? Yeah. Oh, You're this. joking. And if you think this immense fish of 22 pounds of brown trout is big, there's an even bigger one, and they're hoping that they've actually caught it in the net. This fish alone is, has the potential to make a British record. So Niall and Stuart are still hunting, still sorting through the net, piling their way through huge numbers of really big rainbow trout in an effort to try and locate well, we're calling it Troutzilla. It has the potential to be one of the biggest brown trout in British waters. These are mostly rainbows, and as you can see, they're in fantastic condition. And as they get sorted through and put back into the stock holding pool, Stuart does come up with another big brown trout. Yeah. That's a brown tail there, isn't it, coming yeah. up? Yeah, oh, I don't know. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. How big is the biggest so far? 22, was it? Yeah. I reckon that's a kitty. I reckon that's got some gut to it. Look at the bloody whip on it. That is it, on So this could be Troutzilla. Yeah. Oh. Got him. Oh. Yeah, 21, 21 and a half. Yeah. <coughs> 420s. Oh, yeah. 20 as the guys were searching through the net of rainbows was the fact there were so many quality rainbow trout still in the net dozens and dozens and dozens of fish with the potential to go over that magic 10 pound mark that all the fishermen want to catch there's thousands of fisheries all over the British Isles in case there's people that don't realize that the trout fishing in England the fish have to be stocked there is no way that you're going to get fish of this size in dozens of different waterways in the British Isles without feeding them up first to get them to that size. They cannot sustain themselves with just insect life alone. 
There are some wild brown trout, these are called ferox, and they can grow even bigger in the wild, mostly in Scotland, few places in Wales. They're in deep water, but as a general rule, you're going to catch those on bait and lures. You're not going to be able to catch them on a fly rod in, in well, two feet under the surface. Just look at the size of this one, and they're weighing this one in a carp weighing sack, proper sling. They had, in the end, six brown trout in excess of 20 pounds, and they still couldn't find the biggest one. So with fish like this being stocked, that any angler can catch on a day ticket, Diva Springs could be the place to go if you want your first or biggest trout. You can get rainbows over 10 pounds, and now it looks like there's a chance of 20 pound plus browns. The totally awesome fishing show hopefully won't be too far behind.